The late 1960s, the world was changing fast. Computers existed, but they were huge, isolated machines, locked inside universities and military labs. No one could imagine that one day these silent boxes would connect the entire world. But a small group of dreamers did. Among them was a young computer scientist named Vint Cerf, often called the father of the internet. He believed something unbelievable for that time. What if every computer in the world could talk to each other, like humans do? People laughed at the idea. Computers were slow, expensive, and completely different from one another. Connecting them looked impossible, but Cerf had a vision. A vision of a world without borders. A world where information travels freely. A world where knowledge belongs to everyone. In 1969, a small experiment called ARPANET connected just four computers, one at UCLA, one at Stanford, one at UC Santa Barbara, and one at the University of Utah. When a simple message, login, was sent, only LO reached before the system crashed. But that LO was not a failure. It was the beginning of a revolution. Surf didn't stop. He partnered with Robert Kahn, and together they created TCP-IP, the language that allows all computers to communicate. On January 1st, 1983, the world officially switched to this new system. It was like turning on the first light bulb of a global network. But even then, the internet wasn't what we know today. It had no websites, no Google, no social media, just scientists sharing data. Then came a brilliant British scientist, Tim Berners-Lee. Working alone at CERN in 1989, he imagined something even crazier, a web of information that anyone could access with just a click. People told him, it's too big. It won't work, but he ignored the doubt. He wrote three inventions, HTML, HTTP, the first web browser. And just like that, the World Wide Web was born. Today, the internet connects over five billion people. Dreams travel faster than light. Voices reach across continents. Businesses start from bedrooms. Knowledge is free for anyone willing to learn. And all of it happened because a few people believed in a dream no one else could see. The internet wasn't invented by machines. It was invented by courage, imagination, and the refusal to quit. So whenever you feel your ideas are too big, remember Surf, remember Khan, remember Tim Berners-Lee. The world changes because someone dares to believe in impossible things.